Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Good afternoon driver. Today you are in charge of a Southwestern Railway service from Ascot to Guildford. This service would normally run via Bagshot, however due to your points failure you have been diverted via Adultstone instead. Your only calling points on this run are Walking and Guildford. Expect the line to be busier than usual as platform 5 walking is closed for engineering works. Meaning all trains timetable to serve that platform must use platform 4. Please note that Adultstone is the station ahead of you, however you will not be calling at the station. And I think that's about it, so yeah. Let's put control D to disable that because we don't want that, so yeah. Let's get the train ready. If I can find the light somewhere. Um, I think it's on there. Yeah. I think it's already on day anyway, so we are good to go. And destination is Guildford, so yeah. Let's get going. So we're starting at a uh, I guess it's end point. I'm not too sure where exactly we're starting, but... Anyways, so we've got like six and a half miles to walk in. Let me quickly check the map to see where we're starting, so... Ascot to Guildford, so I'm guessing this is the branch line to Ascot, but obviously... Ascot's not in the game, so we're starting at this, uh... What do you call it? This uh, part of the route where the line to Ascot goes. So I think it'll be a clear run to Walking, and then maybe uh, it'll be quite busy up, up until uh, Guildford. We are only driving a four car train, which is absolutely fine. And yeah, it's good to be back on the course of the wreck line. Updated one. So we're going to be going at 3.03 at Walk-In, so we've got still 8 minutes to reach there, so I think we should be uh, okay to drive a bit slower than normal. Oh, 
that was actually a close up because I didn't actually realize. That would have been end of snow, I think, if you passed it. Yeah, no idea why it's lagging so much. Maybe it's quite a lot here around the walking area. Just loading up. Waiting for this train. So it will take us. That's probably stopping at our platform for walking. Nope, it's not just making way for a faster train.
my bad. I just realized that we are meant to arrive at 303 and it's actually only 253, which I didn't actually realize. I was thinking that it was uh, our ETA that was that has to be uh, 253, but it's actually 303. So we still actually have 10 minutes left, which I didn't actually realize. So yeah, I was wondering why we're getting red signals constantly, but I guess we know now why. And I guess now we're going to be waiting for a very long time, unfortunately. Anyways, I guess we can go to Walken and see what's the hold up. Obviously all trains are going to platform 4. Because platform 5 has engineering works, so... Fortunately it's very laggy, so I can't really... Show you guys much, if I can. Okay, now it's a bit smoother, so... Let's go to Walken, if you can see it from here. So yeah, we are going to be... <laughs> for this train to the parts got the stopping service to London Waterloo via Surbiton and we got a beautiful 444 coming very nice this train going let's actually check it out oh we got another train here as well wow so yeah here's the engineering works at platform five i'm guessing the person who made this scenario or added this to the scenario i think i'm pretty sure this is custom which is really really cool so these we've got the engineering guys here got a few on the tracks got a nice tractor here not tractors what am i saying bigger and yeah, so we got that train waiting for this train, and obviously our train's behind that one, so yeah. I think this one will depart very soon. Like, unfortunately, I can't go any f further because our train is so uh, far behind. So, this is as far as I can go. Uh, what's this going to? Doesn't really say where that train's going to. Might show us on the actual HUD. So that's a Waterloo to Port of Harbour. A Port of Harbour to London Waterloo service. And a Waterloo to Alton service. And I can hear another train. So walking's quite busy at this time of the day. To be fair, if I just uh, knew that we had to arrive at walking at 15.03 then we wouldn't be able to uh, do this train spotting at all. Quite a nice station to do a train spotting video to be fair, so uh, might do that in the future if someone can make me a uh, train spotting <laughs> So that, that's the train ahead of us. So once this train departs, then we will be able to um, get going. And I believe up until Guildford, it should be a fairly clean run. There's just engineering works at Walking for uh, Platform 5. I'm not too sure when this train's going to be departing. And we've got two more trains here, so... Almost every single platform is... Actually, every platform is uh, has a train on it, so... That's pretty cool. So we've got these two are full up. This platform is full, and obviously... Apart from the one that's having engineering works, 
we have a pretty busy walking station. It's really, really cool. To be fair, we could see our train from here. Yeah, our train's all the way there, just about, as you can see. And this train is ready to depart. I assume that this uh, 455 will depart uh, in a minute. This train should depart uh, in a probably about two minutes, and we should be able to uh, get going. But yeah, we can see some of the scenery. I walk in, pretty decent. I want to lie. Obviously, nothing inside the house. Obviously, this is the um, most recent uh, UK route in the game, so. They've definitely done a decent amount of work with the scenery, which is nice to see. I think the entrance is on this side. Oops, I'm a bit lost now. Yeah, the entrance is there, I believe. It's a bit blurred out. Anyways, I think we should go back to our train because we are clear to go up until the next signal, so let's get going. And hopefully by the time we get to the next signal, uh, we should be able to uh, approach walking platform 4. And I do apologize for me getting it wrong at the beginning, saying that why we keep getting red signals when clearly our ET is up until uh, 303. I can't see from this one, it's even a bit more. That train has departed, I think. So we are good to go. I 
emergency. So we're 20 seconds late, which is absolutely fine. Let's open the doors. So one thing is to take a nice screenshot here. With the engineering what's happening in the background. Maybe take another one. I think this would be better, but... So you the head it has failed, please press tab to pass it and treat it as a yellow signal. Okay then. Oops. Next stop is Guildford platform 6 slash 7, that's interesting. I thought the... why it's not letting me tab? This one. Yeah, that's the one. I was thinking it was this first signal on the route that we had to uh, clear, but it's this one which has failed. So, if it were, so we are going to be turning our uh, left towards Guildford. It would be really cool if we could go straight on towards uh, Basingstoke and Weymouth, but maybe in the future they will add that path to routes. Too early, then we'll have to be held up a uh, certain signals just before we right at Guildford. So 70 to 75 should be decent speed to go since we've still got like around five minutes to arrive there. And obviously, I'm gonna go just under four miles to uh, go. Okay, we've got our first yellow signal, so no 
think we should be going on to 80 miles an hour now. Dead on time. Just yep, perfect. Probably should have stopped at the four car marker, but that's okay. But yeah, this is a platform six six slash seven. Which is a really weird uh name to call it a platform, but anyways. We have platform 8, 6 and 7, yeah I think two uh, platforms have combined into one, that's why it's called platform 6 slash 7, but anyways, uh, well done, seems like operations on the Ascot to go for line have resumed as normal, so another driver will take this train back to Ascot on its regular routes, kinda wish we could but obviously that route does not exist in the game, so maybe in the future we can do that. We a thumbs up. We were speeding once, but that was because we didn't know the speed limit just before Gulf. But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that scenario. Hope if you did, uh, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.